can't imagine that uh, PM is much different. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude, you're in World Finals. <laughs> it's on. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. I'm oh sorry, God. stream, that the climber ruined the sanctity of uh, the easy button. Yeah, it's alright. But I, I will not allow that. That's alright. Alright, so Team Tyler's here. I'm Tyler. This is Tyler. We're both Tyler. Yeah, twice a Tyler. Tyler and Tyler Law Firm. Yeah. I like I like that one. That was, that was good. Thanks, man. Alright, so we're about to see Ghoul and Echo here in... Winner's Finals? In Winner's Finals. So, so let me get this straight. So how did, how did no, 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 hold up, hold up. Let me get this straight. Okay. We just saw JBM and Tizer. In losers' in semis. No, in losers' semis. Oh, yeah, quarters. Yeah, duh. Yeah, because yeah. you were in semis. Yeah, we saw Tizer and JBM in losers' quarters. Yep. These are both of the players who beat them. Ghoul beating uh, Tizer in a very, very good match. And Echo beat JBM? Echo beat JBM with Toon Link. Like, it, it was, was it 2-0? Like, like, JBM, like, messed up with something. So, it just, so that's how Echo won. Mm. But, yeah, Ghoul's win was legit. Really? It was super good. Like, it was a very yeah, no. good... Like, it, if there's a match from tonight that you need to go back and watch, it's that match. That right. match was so hype. I couldn't stand it. I wish I saw it. Like, I like I ended the match just like... Like, just like <laughs> sitting here, just like, oh my god. Like, the only thing I could say was like, oh, it was so good. It was so, so good. good. Yeah. All right. Well, so we're about to see DDD versus Toon Link here. Uh, Ghoul was telling me that he thinks he, he knows some... Uh, like he thinks he uh, Toon Link's free for DDD. He think he thinks just like the approach options. Yeah. Just like the approach options just aren't in Toon Link's favor. Like he he thinks he can just grab him easily. So I'm yeah. I'm very interested to see the the DDD here. In round one, I actually played uh, Toon Link's second game against his DDD. Yeah, I saw that, and uh, you, you it was pretty much free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so. uh, but uh, Echo. Uh, <laughs> The young, powerful dolphin is a is a much better uh, tune link, I'd say. Oh yeah, dude, his he's he's got the he's got he's learned to do the glide toss now. So yeah. so now that he can actually recover, it gives him like like he has more time to play, like right. be on stage and just pressure the opponent like he does. Like he's crazy. Like his spacey play is so good. His fox is crisp, but his falco is getting extra crispy. Like. He's running that KFC extra crispy recipe, dude. It's so good. I like it. It's crazy. But his Toon Link, his Toon Link is getting good. Like, he's just, he's just. I love his use of it, the arrows. Oh, I know you, dude. You guys are just dude, like. Because mm, I'm arrows. all about the arrows. Dude, yeah. I'm, I'm all about just like. Arrows. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm all about the the boomerang. Like, you throw the boomerang, and then when, yeah. the, then when the bomb hits and just like goes upward. Yeah, it's like you set up a bomb trap. It's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. yep. And it's actually pretty cool for uh, edge guarding. Yes. Because you, you have both hitboxes out right next to the ledge if you time it right. Yeah, yeah. So, but then but then you have DDD's shuffled nares. Oh, my God. Ghoul DDD is and crazy. He has Ghoul. so much invincibility on, like, half of his moves. Yeah, Ghoul does a very good job on using those shuffled nares. Like, he, he just says, like, yeah, dude, I put out, like, three of them and then just do, like, a forward air. Yeah, that Perfect. sounds about right. Perfect. Yeah. So, so we're about to see a lot of that. Ooh, Smashville. I want to see some cheese with the the swallow. I want to I want to see some cheese with both the characters, but I feel like I feel like with how confident Ghoul is, like oh, oh there it oh, is. Oh, he knows how to do it. Yeah. Dude. I didn't know if he figured that out. Oh, dude, he's figured it out. Oh, uh, one thing. Oh. oh wow, he got hit by Gordo. One thing that uh attack on the damage. One thing that Ghoul did during his uh, match with Tizer is he used Waddle D. Right. He grabbed him like he did. And then he blocked all of the like, all of the lasers that Tizer shot. He really? used them to block Fox's lasers. Damn. Like Tizer shot out like five of them, and he blocked like three or four of them with Waddle Dee. Because he That's just crazy. grabbed him and then just like let him go, and it's just like douche, just a block, just like a wall. Oh. Waddle Dee. Nope. Echo. 
Echo's getting into it now. All right. A little overextended and uh, a nice punish from Echo. Yeah. Oh, that, that up B. We were talking about the up B earlier, like, on how good it is, but how risky it is. Yep. Because, like, if they just DI, they can punish it super easy. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. Goal's back. Uh, throughout the boomerang, yep. I was just waiting for it to come back. See where it's gonna, how it was gonna affect the play. That's the good thing about Link and Toon Link's boomerangs is that it can like, like people will forget that it's out and that it comes back. So it seems like you can't swallow side uh, cheese against Toon Link because uh, you actually swallow up uh, all projectiles. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Definitely. Ooh. And, and nice nair to what, what I like doing with Toon Link is like what, what Echo's doing here, approaching with the boomerang. You just throw it at all the angles and it works. Yeah. Like, it, it like hit, hit, hit stun, puts him in hit stun for like a small amount. Of, oh my god. Although it doesn't really cover options, it, uh, it, like, uh, it just gives, it just get kind it of. It limits your opponent's options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. All right. Which may sound like the same thing, but, uh. It's definitely not. Yeah. Oh! Waddle D sniping. Oh my god, I'm loving it. He's just using them just to block, just to block off the Toon Link that we're seeing here. Oh, spa dodge, crazy. Oh, missed the down smash. Gets grabbed with that ridiculous range. Platform saves uh, Ghoul right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Are we going to see an up -E kill? No, shield. No. Ghoul, Ghoul was expecting it. This platform oh. is just back throw. Ghoul so much. Oh, and one thing you're going to want to watch for with Ghoul here. Oh, oh my god. That F smash connected. One thing you're going to want to watch out for is when he's on the ledge and he does a fair. He does a fair through the stage. And it, right. it, and it hits so far. The hitbox is crazy on it. Yeah. It's so big. It hits so far. And it's so good. Oh, god. Ghoul's L canceling is amazing with DDD. He just moves so fast once he hits the ground. Ooh, Miss Gordo. 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 All right, Ghoul really just just spamming the waddle. Oh, he almost got the the double assist, the grab. Yeah. Uh. Let's see here. Echo just thrown out up tilt, trying to. Oh, gets it. Oh, gets fared across the stage. All right, so. Echo. Get someone else on. Echo getting in the work with uh with these grabs. Oh, but that fair through the stage like I was talking about. So good. Oh, uh, but the boomerang approach. Looking really smooth. Ah. Uh, Echo getting the kill. Echo does have the bomb in hand. All right, we're welcome, JBM. Upstream. Replacing, replacing my other half. No homo. <laughs> but yeah, so we're seeing a, a pretty, like... I'd say even game. It was like, it was pretty even earlier. Just yeah. Now oh. it's basically even now. Yeah, that was a great fair right there. Man. Oh. Okay. Just seen some great patience. Yeah. Patience. Oh. He's really trying to get those down smash reads, and he just hasn't a, been getting them. It's a really good option towards the uh, the edge, but mm -hmm. when he's mid stage like that, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, it gets hit with that. Oh, nice recovery. Nice yes, recovery. definitely, definitely a good choice. God, that's the one thing I love about Toon Link is that you can throw out three hitboxes with projectiles at one really? time. With the boom, you've got your boomerang, your arrow, and your bomb. Mo most most of the time, like you'll start with the boomerang and you'll throw it. Uh -huh. And what Echo just did there, he shot the arrow to put uh to put him into a shield, and then he used the bomb to like like just after like he just kind of threw it at him like wherever he went. Oh really? Yeah. So like, and you can like you can mix and match. What I like to do is you throw the boomerang, the boomerang, and then you throw the bomb while the boomerang comes back, and the bomb will hit it and pop it up, and you can and you can like set up like like bomb traps. Really? Yeah, so it just sends it straight up. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Just like the stuff you can do with the projectiles with Toon Link, it's it just makes him so good. That that's why that's why I think he's good. Nah, his movement options are amazing. Mm -hmm. That too. Back to Smashville, alright. And since this is winners finals, this is best of five. Yes, it is. Oh. Good tech reads right there. Definitely. 
Oh, great Ooh. up tilt. I was looking for a grab. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that Ninja Day has got to have some uh, combos from like his up throw or uh, his back throw or yeah. something. But uh, Ghoul right now is uh, he's, he's trusting his down his down throw right now. Oh, definitely. One thing you notice that uh, Echo's getting around, uh, that uh, Ghoul was getting away with a lot during the uh, previous matches were... The Nairs? Not only that, but um, he those... Uh, the things that he throws. Oh, the waddle bees. Yeah, Echo is just simply just jumping over them and shooting yeah. fire arrows and throwing his boomerang yeah. at an angle. I don't. I think they might. That was have, a very good edge guard. Yes. I think they might be less effective with characters that uh that are like projectile heavy, mm -hmm. since all they have to do is just jump and just like hit him with a projectile. Uh -huh. So. God. But... Okay. Good down air. Yeah, I, I like. I like what Ghoul's doing with his down airs, like, how- Oh! Oh, uh, an unfortunate SD. Yes. Let's see if that has any- any effect on the play. Ghoul, wow. Really? Oh my god. That's that- that's that PM stuff right there. Huge grabs with the uh, chain- or with uh, tethers. Wow. Multiple back airs. Oh. Oh! Down here to fair. Yeah, the one thing I love about Toon Link in this game is his mobility is so much similar to uh, his brawl mobility. And uh, honestly, he was actually one of the first characters I picked up in uh, brawl, yeah. just because of his uh, his movement. Mm -hmm. I haven't played much brawl, but what I have played of Toon Link, he's just he's he's good. Yes. that's that's really just the way to put. Like he's just good. I like that Echo's starting to use that more. When I uh, have when I have played friendlies and stuff with Toon Link. Uh, I love his up B on the ground. It's, mm -hmm. it's very safe. The fact yes. that you can charge it is a huge mind yeah. game. The, the only risky thing about it, I was talking with uh, someone else, is that if they DI out of it properly, like it, it puts it into like an easy punish, yeah. I think. No, you know what? I, I constantly tried smash the eyeing out of uh, the up B when I was playing Echo, and yeah. smash the eyeing up does not work, it seems like. Mm -hmm. I I mean, perhaps I was missing it. Maybe yeah. uh, maybe that is it, but um, I could not escape it. Yeah, I don't know what like, like most people like the people who have di'd it like, they, I think they di'd either like out or in just depending on like what direction he was going, but like it was they always di'd wow. it like right when it hit. Oh, good. Oh, great grab. Still going with the down throw. Yeah, he's he really likes it. Hmm. Oh, great choice. Ghoul's playing much better this match. See, there Definitely. you go, the up yep. throws. Oh, trying, oh. Trying, to, trying to get that cheese. Oh, wow, oh. baiting Echo to do that. Yep. All right, it's 1-1. One, one. Yep. Mm. Let's see here. These are some close matches. They're both really good right now. I mean, oh. they're playing pretty good. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. They're both playing really well today. Like I feel like Echo, like today, has just increased like his Toon Link, like his skill yes. with Toon Link, just like just within today has gotten really good. It has definitely. I'm interested to see uh, how uh, he grows with uh, Toon Link because yeah. Toon Link seems to be really good. One thing I never see Echo use is he never throws his forward smash, um, and I find that to be a uh, really good move. It's yeah. uh, unsafe at moments, but it's very good. Mm -hmm. One one move I like that I that I think is is a good kill move if you can hit it like at like the right percent is the fair. Okay. Yeah, because every time like like you get him around like a hundred percent, ninety percent, you hit him with the fair, it just it just sends him like far. I don't know. That that's that's just my perspective on it. I think it's a great move. Dang. Echo's getting in these non-stop hits. Day Day's ability to live in this game, he's very heavy. Mm -hmm. God, there it is, the fair through the stage. That's that's an amazing move that Ghoul just knows how to put to use. It does. Good Nair. Okay, got some neutral play. He's really baiting uh, Echo to uh, commit to something on the top platform. Mm -hmm. There he goes with that Nair. Uh, Good move. Yep. Oh, Echo just keeping him on the ledge right now. 
Now he's back. Oh! An unfortunate miss the tether. Sometimes with Echo, I think when he goes for the tether, I feel like he should just up B instead and he would make it. Like, I, I understand he wants to play it safe, but you gotta get back onto the stage. Yeah, it's just experience. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, great choice. Got the fair on the ledge. Super good with that huge hitbox. Okay. It's the air down. Good follow up. Mm -hmm. He can be dead from this. If oh. Ghoul had simply grabbed the ledge right there, I believe that uh, Echo would have been dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, great setup. Wow. Seen some. Okay. Edge guarding opportunity. Ghoul mm. refusing to uh, grab that ledge. But yeah. he's still, I believe he's got the stock right here. Good. Yep. Alright. So both players pretty much even. Both at two stocks. Ghoul only at 35%. Uh, <coughs> God, now he's. I look away for a second. He's already at 68. Dang. Okay. Uh, Ghoul misses that capitalization. Sorry. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I have not seen that technique quite yet. There. Oh my god, Echo there, just... Good use of that up -y. Yeah, he's just putting on great shield pressure right now. With all the projectiles, just and he just gets in real close real fast. Oh, uh, unfortunate. unfortunate. Dusty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go with the lead for the first time, I think. Yeah. Only. Oh. All right. Evens these. Anybody's match right now. Yep. Literally as even as it can get. Matches at one one. One stock. Both are baiting for that neutral area. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, he misses that grab opportunity. Yeah. What Ghoul isn't using this match is that uh. He's not using his up tilt very much in those platforms. Yeah. He has a very great advantage to use that. He's also not using his uh, up smash. Yeah. But that Nair, oh my god, the priority behind his is amazing. There's that back there. The way he's placing it as well is very smart. Oh, yes. Just barely hitting him. Barely hitting Echo. Oh, just get the suck up. Mm, the wall would he grab, yep. Misses the back air. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Double the, F smash. But the DI by Echo is real. Oh. Oh, oh the down air wow. kills. I'm Echo. not sure why Ghoul went for four F smashes right there. Yeah. Um, it was working. But, but um, he just hit the sour spot most of the time on it. He did. But Echo was respecting yeah. it quite a bit. Oh, definitely. Definitely. All right. Game four. Damn. All right. Noah, why are you not here, dude? Yeah, dude, what? How are you going to be in the stream, but you're not going to be here? Does anybody know where Noah is at? How many uh, people do we have watching? 19. Shoutouts to everybody watching right now. We got a hype stuff going on. Oh. For emergency situations only. Oh yeah. Yep, easy button. It's sacred. When I watch this game, I still constantly think that uh, they're going to be able to grab the ledge when they're backwards because I'm so used to Brawl. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that forward tilt. Just so much range. Yeah, Noah. I uh, I'm still working on uh, Mewtwo or Mewtwo's movement. Um, it's uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. I just think there's so much to learn if you play Mewtwo. There is, and a lot of Mewtwo's that I've noticed they don't use. They have tap jump off, and I have, have not learned how to use uh, tap jump off. Yeah. I don't, I don't like to take tap jump off because melee has tap jump on, so it I does. like to keep it like that. Yeah. So like so it just doesn't like ruin that, but like. 
people say like it's not like a bad transition like it's not a bad thing but I just don't like it because I feel like it'll mess up my melee game for some reason All right. they're both playing a heavy projectile game right now Toon Link using all three of his projectiles but Ghoul just keeps throwing out the waddle these Ooh. No, I really think it depends on how many people we have enter PM. Um, if PM's the larger event, it should probably be last. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyways, back to the match. Ghoul has taken quite the lead this match. Yeah, he's... When I was, when I was talking with Ghoul earlier, he said that Toon Link was free for DDD like his approach on DDD just like wasn't good and so like he could just grab him like I really haven't seen it but okay Echo's making somewhat of a comeback right now yeah but he is at that high percent and... oh there it is the thing that's uh the thing that I love about uh Toon Link in this game is the fact that he has three different projectiles so I mean you can't really cam someone because that's what his game is. Yeah. And, um, I mean, when you have a character as versatile as Fox, like, I mean, Fox can be aggressive. He can, you know, he's very good at his dash dancing game. He's very good at using his lasers. And, yep. Um, I think that's why players more so feel like they're being camped or, you know, whatnot when they're playing uh, higher tier characters like Fox or Falco. Yeah. Good down air. Echo is making quite the comeback right now. Yeah, he's putting in work right now. Oh. oh. Wow, he could have done. Oh, they're okay. Let's see, yeah, that's what he originally wanted. He wanted three nares. Yeah. The nair combos in this game with day to day are real. Yes. Oh. Echo taking advantage of that. He knew that he wanted that forward air. Yeah, that's what Ghoul. That's what Ghoul's favorite thing on the ledges is that fair. Okay, so we basically have an even matchup right now. Definitely. Echo is definitely going to build up a lot of damage with these projectiles. Yeah. Now, I don't know that technique. It looks like an arrow glide toss that uh, Ghoul keeps trying to do. Okay. With, uh, his so creatures, his his minions. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Okay. Using the backers. Oh, yeah. Echo. Oh, I there the he goes. He there. actually goes for the force smash that time. Oh, See, it's very hard to DI out of that. Mm -hmm. oh, Who is losing his advantage? Echo is doing a really good job with his projectiles to uh, gain stage control and keep it. Yeah, he's just. Uh, all right, wow. He just keeps Ghoul away, and then he just gets in close and finishes it. Yeah. All oh. right, Zevensies. All right, this could. Uh, this could. Uh, this could be a Ghoul's last uh, tournament stock until he goes into losers bracket to fight uh, Tizer. Yep. Just, wow. Just keeping that bomb bouncing. It I, seems as though it's risky, but I almost would say that, like, with well, the way that Echo's playing, he, he's using the projectiles, but he wants to approach really bad. Yeah. So he just, he, he if Ghoul just waited it out and blocked a lot of his projectiles, I feel like Ghoul could put himself in a position to punish him. All right. Ghoul's got the grab. He's going to take advantage of it. All right. Oh, but the bomb gets him. Okay, no follow-up. Oh, He's trying a lot in. of his tricks that have worked previously, and yep. uh, Echo seems to be learning the DI very fast. Oh, definitely. E Echo's adapting very fast. I feel like Echo has adapted, like, really well, like, coming off of kind of like the... Wow, the there he goes, he takes it. Yep. I think you won. Yeah, Echo won the set. 3-1. 3-1 you. Yeah. So, <laughs> Echo not even Echo not even knowing he just Tizer. won. Who's using Who's using Seth? All right, so we're about to see Tizer versus Ghoul. 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 Just stay there. Just stay. All right, we're about we're about to see the rematch. Oh yeah. Ghoul versus Tizer. Let's see if, Let's see if Ghoul can pull it off again. I want him to, but I feel like I feel like Tizer just like got his head in the game, like 
Like, like once he got sent to losers, he's just like, no. Yeah, I, I mean, Tizer went over. He, it was funny because he was actually practicing melee Fox right before my match with him. And uh, oh my god, uh, the way that he was playing against me, I mean, I can't, I can't take it away from him. He, he outplayed me. I just uh, quit out of frustration because I'm just struggling with movement. I, yep. I really feel like uh, Mewtwo is easily top five in this game. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. I just uh, need to get a setup on 8 for X this game. Uh, I love this game right now. I just, uh, fucking sore loser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all are. That's yeah. Some are worse than others, though, and that's mm -hmm. why they get acknowledged, and uh, that needs to be respected, so. Yep. Right. But I'll bring my game face tomorrow. Don't you worry. You streamers, you better come tomorrow. You better be watching. Oh, yeah. If not, I'll flex on you. I'll flip you like on the couch. Oh, oh dude. Flex on him. Oh, Ghoul choosing Rob over DDD against Fox. Oh. Do you think it's... Oh. Rob is excellent. I played a Rob in Kansas, and um, I got turned sideways. Really? Yes, it was bad. I played Marth, and I tried to play the spacing game, and, you know, it does not work because Rob's spacing in this game is magnificent. Yeah. I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to confuse Tizer because um, he expects Tizer to know the matchup now with Day-to-Day. And that's why he's gone from uh, day to day to um, yeah, I, to Rob. He wants he wants to choose another character that Tizer may not know anything about. It's true. I, I I feel like that's really like the main reason he won, was because Tizer didn't know the matchup knowledge. Yes. But I don't know. I I kind of like the switch to Rob. Tizer is indeed a generation of miracles. Oh God, yes. Very much so. Oh wow, what a read. That was a magnificent read. Oh, great Nair. That's the one thing I like about Rob is his Nair. Uh, Noah, the TV... Okay, so here's the thing, is that it, it definitely has like a half of a frame maybe a frame of lag, but um, it's much better than that TV that we had previously played last week, but the um, thing is, is if you're playing matches constantly on it, you don't feel it. So as long as you don't practice on another TV or another setup, you'll be fine. Right. No Johns. We're getting the opportunity to stream and stuff like that. Oh, I mean. Yeah. If you really want to, you know, that's why you do a button check, and that's what I think I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll make sure that I'm, uh, you know, completely ready, and I'll oh, be uh, doing that. Dirty shine from Tizer. Just so deep. That's one thing Tizer's really good with, is getting those shines off stage. He did He did it He did, he it did against, a lot he, versus... Who were you going to say? Uh, against against Colt. Oh, when when yes. he was with Kirby just floating down there, he's just like, no, I'm going to shine you all day. Yeah. He, he was gutsy. I couldn't believe that he would come out when I would try and teleport. I feel that uh, Mewtwo's teleport is uh, deceivingly not as good as it actually looks. Mm -hmm. um, you can hit it out of the uh, first five frames, it looks like, and that's, that's a, lot of, really? a lot of time to hit you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think it has to do with what Cam is saying, actually. I mean, I, I really feel that the TV is really nice, and once you play for a little bit, you get used to it. Oh, cool. The one thing I like about Ghoul's uh, Rob. Wow. Ghoul's Rob uses his his fully charged neutral B. He he angles it all the time, and he's so good at it. Cause uh, and you're, his you're talking about the laser. Yeah, yeah. His yes. his first match against Colt, he played Rob, and he just lasered all day. Like Colt didn't know what to do because he just he 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 will hit every shot. Rob Rob has a throw to laser, and it uh, works consistently. Mm -hmm, yep, just see, there so, it is. Yeah, and that's so much damage that attacks on, especially when it's charged. Yeah. Not only that, but he has the top. The top is amazing as well. Mm -hmm. The only bad thing about the top is that when it stops spinning, the opponent can grab it. Yes. But I, but I guess that's kind of what makes it fair. Yes, it does. God, oh, great back there. Wow. Tizer brings it back. Tizer, when I was playing him, his comebacks were ridiculous. I never felt like the match was ever in my favor, really, yeah. except for on FD. Ooh. Oh, Great Tizer fair. missing his shine opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay, forward throw. Tizer oh. playing it very safe. Tizer and 
great stage control. Oh. Uh, uh, Glare okay. dodged. So, first match goes up to Tizer. Mm -hmm. I, f I feel like it was a really even game. Yeah, no. We'll see what happens this uh, this next match. Like uh, like we were talking about before, um, Tizer is really good at adapting. He's, uh, he's a very, very versatile player, so. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll see if he goes day to day. God, I would like I would like to see the run back. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Someone's in really deep thought right now. Oh, Ghoul was trying to decide. All right, going to battlefield. Okay, so Ghoul wants to run it back. I feel I feel like it's a good choice to run it back. Um, personally. I don't. I'm not a believer in running it back. Really? I feel like there's always another place to counter pick. I mean, unless you for sure know exactly why you lost and it wasn't a uh, sizable loss. I, I don't. I think it's a decent decision. But um, okay. Your, your opponent has adapted to the next stage. Yeah. And if you're kind of thinking of what you, you're already having an idea of like what you want to do as far as the counter pick. Yeah. And they have to, uh, you know, adapt to you throughout the match on what your ideas are to counter pick them. Yeah. So. See, and that's what I'm saying. Tizer's too used to the map right now. His movement control and everything with Fox is incredible. See, he's oh he's gained his God. confidence. He's yeah. he's feeling comfortable going in. And oh see, Ghoul might be dead right here. Yeah. And there it goes. Yeah. Tizer's just going to start shining now. I feel like just that one game just gave him enough knowledge on Rob. Yep. And now he's... Okay. Oh, follow hype. There we go. Oh, who followed us? Uh, Jesterhead92. Thanks for following, man. Good stuff. Alright. Yeah. Tizer with the one stock lead right now. Oh god, he's just He's just putting in work now. Jesterhead was just here, wasn't he? Is that the same? Yeah, guy? I believe that guy just left. He uh him and his girlfriend were here just earlier. He was playing the uh yep. Yep he, yep, he was just here. This fox kicked my ass, and I'm super salty about it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's very good, man. He's uh, that, he's well, a generation of miracles. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> That's all you need to say. Yeah, probably the best Samus at one point in time in Melee in the Midwest, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. And obviously, it's showing off his caliber of play as he uh, is, you know, having a very large lead against Ghoul right now. Yeah, definitely. I'm very interested. I, I I feel like maybe Ghoul's maybe not playing day today because he doesn't want Tizer to know about uh, the matchup tomorrow. Oh. I, I think that's honestly what's going on right here. Is, is Tizer coming to the tournament tomorrow? I believe so. Mm, okay, I can see that. I can save and. Tizer will, Tizer will probably definitely come and watch, and if he doesn't enter, then uh, you know that's just what he does. Yeah. So. Play some friendlies. Get the practice. Yeah, no, it's good to be hungry, though. I mean, when someone beats you, I mean, whether they're, whether they're good or not, I mean, that gives you the fire to, you know, pursue being better than them, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm missing that neutral beat. Oh, the wow. Top. Oh, my oh. goodness. What a comeback. Oh. All right, I take back everything I said. Ghoul, right, Ghoul found is, his this flow. This is a tight battle, basically. Ghoul found his flow again. I think I think Ghoul, like, gained confidence from the fact that he beat Tizer in the first, uh, in the the first in, set. Yeah, in the first set. So... I feel like he's just like, no, I can do this. But Tizer's just getting these lasers just every time. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh man, the follow-ups are good. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, okay, 2-0 Tizer. Yep. Let's see if Ghoul's going to make a character switch. And uh, not seeing it. Oh, he's hovering. No, he's gonna stay Rob. All right. No. Oh, what? Are, what is going to happen, man? Ghoul's in some deep thought right now. Yeah, Ghoul wants to win. He's a winner. Nope, sticking with Rob. All right, all right. Each, each is a different stage. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like on this stage, it it might be more in Fox's favor because I think he has more opportunities to shine him off. Oh, oh wow! Very smart decision. Okay, grab the ledge, please. There you go. There okay. it is. Cool. Finally decides to grab the ledge. That was a good decision right there. You're an air dodge. Oh. God, Ties are just following goal right now. Oh, there it is. The up, the up <laughs> no, that comment was too funny, man. Yeah, and you know what? I, I think Rob might not even show up tomorrow. I, I think that, uh. I think that, uh. As much as he doesn't want to believe it, him not being in charge of the tournament kind of scares him. <laughs> yeah, I just saw it. <laughs> That's funny. Echo is in winners' finals, or grand finals. Yep. Oh, great edge guard. Wow. Cool. Yeah, no, Rob is an excellent character. The thing is, is this game is so fresh and new that we don't know a lot of matchups. Yep. So, I mean, you know, it could change within two, four, yeah. six months, maybe a year. It does, you know, it just all yeah. depends. I think a lot of things that kind of dictated what's happened up until now is that first tier list that, like, they released. So like everybody who's like tier list oriented is like, oh, I'm just gonna play top tier character. But then everybody who's like a low tier or like plays a low tier character, like the supposedly Rob or Toon Link, Toon, Toon Link is last on the tier, on the tier list that they released. In this game. Yes, in this game, Toon, Toon Link is supposedly the worst character. Uh, yeah. See, this game is far too early to be uh, yep. having a tier list. I Smashers in general always want to put a tier on everything. Um, Everything's got to be ranked. I mean, you know, we, we thought that Yoshi was terrible in Melee, but look at Amsa. I mean, oh, yeah. he performed extremely well yeah, in all the tournaments he went to. Yeah. A top 32 player, easily. Definitely. Oh my god, Ties are just putting in the tech skill right now. Wow. Like I was saying before, Tizer's really good at coming back. I mean, he will camp his heart out to get that win. Yeah. He, do, he does main Samus. He'll, yeah, I was about to say, he'll originate to his Samus. Like, he was telling me before, actually, he just uh, bought a new controller. and uh, Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, he, he bought a new controller, and he said that he's going to... Uh, Start playing more? Yeah, he's going to main Fox in Melee. Really? Yes. Oh, that'll be very interesting to see. Yeah. Especially with, like... With it, like with his experience with Samus and how good he was, yes. Like I feel like it's just gonna his patience with his fox is going to be ridiculous. Wow. Okay. Is Ghoul gonna take this? Oh. All right. Great take by Ghoul. Using just using two the two one right now. Yeah, that jab gave gave him the one too. All right. Could Tizer be getting physically exhausted? Fox takes it out of you when you're playing at the caliber yeah. that uh, Tizer's playing at. Yeah. And, um, and especially like, didn't Tizer say he was feeling a little sick? I'm not sure if he said that he was feeling sick. No Johns. Yeah, I'm not, no, no Johns, but I mean, like, being sick, like, it, 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 it doesn't help. It doesn't yeah. help, but. We got Culp in the background, you know. He's he's looking at the game. He's he's <laughs> feeling it. He's seeing it. Yeah. Shout-outs to Culp. <laughs> Shout-outs to Culp, yeah. Culp's in the zone. He, he, you know, he's just ignoring the commentators. I'm not sure if he can hear me or not. <laughs> no, dude, he's so focused on the game right now. He could be a, a crazy competitor here soon. Uh, I find that Kirby is a ridiculous character. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, we've uh, turned our focus away from PM to more on Melee. Oh, really? Yeah, like, we, we even uh, deleted the PM off of our SD card to try and install the 20x the, the hack pack for Melee. So we don't even so like we don't even have PM to practice anymore. So oh, really? Yeah. So like we we've we've really turned away from it and we've we've put our focus more on Melee. So. But but his Kirby is still crazy. Like I find, like I just don't understand, like just like how he does. Kirby's crouch, uh, you actually can't grab with Mewtwo unless you do a running grab. Mm -hmm. It's kind of very similar to uh, Jigs in uh, Melee. Yeah. Ooh, music. Yeah, no, I experienced that in my matches with uh, him earlier today. I, I I still enjoyed them, but um, his his Fox when he wants to win, he. 
His laser camp. Yeah, see, as you notice, that dash dancing. He, yeah. He's baiting everything and making uh, making him feel scared. He's getting those grabs for free. Definitely. Damn. Okay. Rob's back throw. That was impressive. Yeah. That was very. Very. You gotta cool. love PM for the throws in this game. Oh yeah, throws. They are easy mode, but uh, it's definitely uh, pretty cool, you know. <laughs> the top combos. Ooh. Oh, oh, Ghoul made it back. Wow. Let's see how he's. Kaiser just kind of with this dominating yeah. lead right here. I feel I feel like he's gonna take it here. He's just like, I'm up two stocks. I'm up one game. What? Tizer with a very sizable lead right now. Yep. Oh, we'll okay. get that jab again. He's, he's really trying to get the edge guard with the top, and I'm yeah. not seeing it. I, I feel like just the angle it takes when it goes down, like, it just isn't suitable for, like, the situation. What he could really be doing is he could, uh, he could edge hog, and, um, as he kills Tizer with a back air or, uh, anything like that, he could hop off ledge and, uh, charge that while he's recovering from yeah. his, uh, his new stock. Mm hmm Now, Ghoul can still win this. It's very close. Uh, Tizer's, uh, like, when he misses Tex, he's, he's done really well at, um, coming back. Oh, Ghoul with oh, the down air. Oh, wow. Like I said, it's a tight battle. One up smash could probably do this. Yeah. Oh, Ghoul being a very overzealous. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, these jabs. The grab. Oh, oh my it. god. Final match. All right. We're going to game five. We're going to game five again. Wow. I don't think Tizer's very happy about that. Um. No. Oh, we're seeing the run back. Oh, we're okay. seeing. Oh, all the salt. We got, we, got a, we got a crazy match right now. All the salt in the world. I where, can't, I can't. Where, are my, where are my followers at? Where are the followers at? Come on. Dude, everybody get in here. Uh, we're seeing... God, we're seeing a character that nobody really plays as in Rob. Oh, man. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. All right. Wow, these rolls are perfectly timed. Mm-hmm. Both players are just doing a Tizer's being very aggressive, as you notice. Now, he's not camping. Yeah, he's I not feeling comfortable with the camping zone. I, I, I feel like Ghoul might have uh, ticked him off a little bit. Yes. Made him... Made him but he takes first stock, so we'll see what yeah. happens. Oh, my God. Tizer's just moving around so fast as Fox right now. Wow. Oh, but the Nair... The, the one... The forward tilt is so good. Mm-hmm. Yep. The crouch cancel. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Tizer, oh, see... Attack. Fox is an exhausting character. It's really hard to follow up all the time. Yep. Oh, oh good back throw. Oh, you need to get on the ledge, oh. dude. Okay. Get on the ledge, homie. God. Cool playing brawl. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Great up smash. That shield pressure was great. Yeah. Ghoul is at a dangerous percent, though. Oh. Ties are going back to his camping game here. Ghoul camping very well right now. Get yes. It's crazy. He's hit him three times, and he's only built up 27%. Wow! Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, and he gets what the edge guard. incredible edge guard. He gets the edge guard, and he only took like 10 da like 10% of damage. During that stock, he still has a, he's a, oh, man, he has a stock lead. Oh, my God, dude. Echo over here. Echo looks worried. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, oh, God. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Like he's like he's like I gotta put I gotta fit two link against either this super campy super aggressive fox or Ghoul's unknown characters and DDD and Rob. Yeah, really? that's, yeah. that's a scary thought. Very very range based. Yeah, definitely. Heck, he might as well add Mark to the uh, mix right there. Oh, damn straight. All right. Oh, just the patience. Yeah, Jester, you should make it, man. Doubles is gonna probably take a uh, an hour and a half or so. Misses both nares. Oh, misses his neutral B. Okay. Ties it with the comeback. Yep, solid up smash. You gotta love smash. I mean, you can... The, the mind games that are involved in this, I mean, you oh, can get, a, you know, easily tricked thinking that you're uh, losing, even yeah. if it's like, you know, you're 70 or 80% down from your opponent. But um, with characters like Fox, All crap, even Rob, I mean, you can come back. Yep. 
as you see, the Tizer is building that percent really fast. Oh, that could have been a death. That could have. Wow. Oh, good fair. Got Falco lasers being thrown right now. Oh. My goodness, Tizer can't get in. Oh, he just now I feel long. as though Ghoul, if he put himself in that position in that certain spot, the down air is so huge that he can just simply edge guard with down air. Yeah, like we saw. Like we saw. Oh wow. The, yes. the top conversion. Yeah. The crazy thing is about the top is when you throw it. Oh it, my goodness. It goes, Echo getting hype. He's excited. All right. Tizer could still have this. Yep. One up smash right now, and he's dead. What? What would this? What would this? Oh wow! He misses that opportunity, but he still has the edge. Oh, Tizer gonna. Oh, he misses his shine opportunity. Puts himself at stake. Oh my God. Tizer only needs one up smash. Yeah, Noah. That. See, there it is. Okay. It's tight battle right now. Definitely. I wonder if we're gonna see aggressiveness or camp or campness from uh, Tizer here. I wonder if Ghoul's gonna be able to pull off the uh, the win right here. Yeah, for sure. Ghoul dancing around that top. He's really making Tizer play that top game. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow, the up tilt to the uh, oh. forward air. But he misses. But he misses the neutral B. Okay. Oh, but Tizer has the top in in hand. Oh, great approach. Wow, these matches are excellent. Oh my god. Oh, oh the up the smash. Spot dodge, the spot dodge. Tizer taking it. So, what would it have meant for our scene to see Ghoul beat Tizer twice in one day? I, I know I know it's in PM though, but like, what? Like, just like, just that thought. It would have been a big deal. Man. Hold on one second. All right, so we're about to see Echo uh, versus Tizer in PM Grand Finals here at Smash Chateau at Underground Gaming in Omaha-ish, Nebraska. We're going to see Toon Link versus Fox. Uh, we're getting into these stage bands here. And that was a great, great set with uh, Ghoul and Tizer there. Loser semis, man. That was impressive. All right, players are still making their uh, stage bands. All right, we're going to Battlefield. All right, so here we go. Tizer throwing out his lasers that he uh, always does in the beginning of the match. Toon Link versus Falco. Wow. Well, I, I thought Tizer would make it. The way that he's been playing campy and everything, and mm -hmm. it's, it's really hard to beat. It's top, it's top Fox play right there. Definitely. Definitely. He, he's got the years of experience of playing playing Foxes, so he's just like, oh, I can do it it's too. A, it's his turn now. Yeah. But Echo is playing very, oh, see, very good right there's now. There's that fair at a high percent. It'll just shoot your opponent right off the screen. Now Echo had his uh, his time of glory in 06 and 07 where he uh, constantly beat Tizer and I all the time. Dang. And um, I'm really hoping that this is not a nightmare that I'm seeing. But um, the it could very comeback? well it could very well be the uh, the comeback of Echo. Yeah, the rebirth. The rebirth. Oh my God. Echo Echo the dolphin. <laughs> Tides of time. <laughs> Yo, where are my nerds at? Have you played that game? It's the hardest game ever. Oh my God. Echo the dolphin is. Yeah. I've never played it, but like when we arrived here, Colt was just like talking about Echo the Dolphin and oh, Echo. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was just kind of funny that you mentioned it there. I couldn't believe that Colt actually. I mean, I know he's a big gamer, but not very many people know about Echo the Dolphin. Yeah. It's actually funny. Um, someone was just like, "What? Like, what character would you like to see in Smash?" And someone put Echo the Dolphin. Really? <laughs> yeah. So that's the only reason why I know what that game is. Wow. It's because someone's like, yeah, dude, put an Echo how, the Dolphin. How, how could you even make Echo the Dolphin work in this game? <laughs> Just have him run on his tail? I Yeah, I guess so. Hey, man, we, we, we've got a fox and a bird in this game. It's true, yeah. Um, I don't think that Tizer loses on purpose at all. Um, Definitely not. If, if you purposely lose any matches... Uh, There's something wrong with you. Yeah. And even so, I mean, 
you know, you're accepting those losses. Losses happen. I mean, so. Wow, Tizer with a comeback right now. That up B off stage is amazing. It's very hard to shine. I think that you'd have to shine his head. Yeah. And that's a very small hitbox. That's why I believe that Young or Toon Link is a very, very solid character. Is his movement speed is very good. Yep. See, that's and his kill be. moves are amazing. He's yeah. dead. Uh, he's a small character, just like Box. He has a disjointed hitbox with a sword. He has three projectiles, and he has the movement speed of like, like Marth almost. I mean, it's and, it's crazy. Andy has Andy has the tether. Yeah. In, in this tether heavy game, or in this tether. Uh, Tether Strong. Uh, yeah, Tether Strong. There we go. Tether Strong game. I don't know if you guys noticed earlier, but uh, Echo did an up B and he edge canceled, but that was a very, very uh, technical thing that he did. Oh, ooh. Very risky there. Missed the ledge cancel. Ooh. Oh my god, these two are just dancing around the screen each other. Like, this is just proving, like, how fast, like, Toon Link is. He's dancing around Fox. Yes. His, his aerials come out far too fast for people to say that he's la he's bottom tier. Yeah, for real. And the priority behind his moves is very good. See, that, there's that fair again. That's dead. All right. Match hey. one goes to Echo. And this is, this, is, this is a match between two Generation of Miracles. Dude, you were, you were playing so good. And then eh. shit happens. <laughs> I think I'm going to power up with Wendy's tomorrow. Oh, Tizer went to Samus. Wow. He's he's trying he's trying to go back to his origins right here. Oh my god. We're we're about to see a very long match I think here. It very well could be. We'll see what happens. I am not very familiar with uh Tizer Samus in this game. I played it a time or two, but mm -hmm. I've, I've been told that uh, Samus is a very, very good character in this game. Sa Samus is very fun. For, for a short little bit, uh, Culp, when Culp thought of maining Samus in Melee, uh, he tried playing Samus in PM, and this, Samus is a good wow, character. Wow, what a combo. Bomb to down air. What I'm going to like to see here is how Toon Link actually like uh, fights against another character that's projectile heavy, such as Samus. And that has a tether too, a better tether. Who, Samus? Yeah, Samus's tether is, is like one of the best in this game. Wow. Like you, you can even better than Ivasaur. Ivasaur has the best tether in this game. Yeah, I, I can agree with wow, that. Wow, what a smart idea that'd be. I can agree with that, but if Ivasaur has number oh one, my goodness, what a combo! If Ivasaur has the number one tether, Samus has number two, I think. Oh wow, he didn't die from that. Oh, Echo is playing superb right now. Yep. Oh, great down air. I, I really feel that Tizer is uh, mentally uh, bothered at the moment. Yeah. He could be hungry. Well, hungry, so hungry for a win. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Neither of them have taken. Oh, now that I've said it, he did. But for that time when they were just dancing, no one took damage. No one gave damage. If you notice, Tizer is playing aggressive with his Samus, and that's yeah. one thing you are not used to seeing him play. I really feel like he should not switch this character. He's having a hard time adapting. Mm -hmm. He was playing such a very, very aggressive, capable character. Yeah, I think. I think Tizer just wants to play aggressive. Yes. Out of some of the characters that I've seen in this game, I feel like Tizer would be pretty decent with um, Ness. Oh, dude! Oh my God, the aggressiveness of Ness. Or even even Rob. I, Rob is ridiculous. Rob Rob has that F tilt that Samus mm -hmm. has. But now that I've said it, Lucas Lucas would be a good choice for him, I think. The in between, the yeah. tether, everything. Yeah. yeah. And then with with uh, with Lucas, his his uh, magnet, since it's small and out in front, and how fast it is, it actually works like a spacey shine. Yes, I saw that. Oh, yeah, the first time I played this game, probably. Uh, I played a decent Minnesota player, and he played Lucas, and I was oh, great back there. very shocked. Yeah. Pink. Echo with a strong lead right now. He's got two stock lead. Yeah. Great use of the boomerang. Oh. oh also, the stay tuned, guys. I believe that we're still planning on uh, doing a crew battle oh, after this. Are we? I think so. In melee or PM? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Personally, I think we should do it in uh, in PM. PM. 
it'd be much more exciting. But yeah, uh, with just what, with what are our viewers saying? Do you would you prefer to watch a uh, PM or melee? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's 2-0 uh, Echo. And he, Echo might not even. Uh, we'll see. He might not even lose a match tonight. Ty Tizer's uh, soul searching right now. Um, oh, he's going back to Fox. Okay. All right, he's going back to his original counter pick. This is a great neutral. I just. I think Pokemon Stadium 2 is the best map. It could, it, it the, could the, very well be. The only thing I, the only issue I have is that you can get caught underneath it. Yes, That's and the ceiling is just very low. Yep, it's it's like it's Pokemon Stadium. Yes, without the transformations. Yeah. Oh. That's one of the things I like about the hack pack is that there's Pokemon Stadium without the transformation. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can actually play that stage. Yeah, but that's part of the game. I mean, yeah. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna compete in tournament, you, you that don't should want not that. be an option. Yeah. Oh no, I mean, de definitely not. Really... Wow, the reset with that boomerang was beautiful. Oh, oh my god! Kill. Oh my god, the down. He doesn't get the kill, but oh, that was just magnificent. The movement of Toon Link right now is so crazy. Echo is just moving so fast. Oh, good DI out of that. Tizer's hungry. He's playing very good right now. Tizer, Tizer wants to win. Oh, good back air. Is that I think there is some type of history between uh, Tizer and uh, Echo. Maybe Tizer is uh, mentally bothered by uh, perhaps the uh, the rivalry they have. The the comeback of Echo. The rebirth. He's yeah. back. Yeah, the second dude. coming. Mm -hmm. Like when when he first joined us, like his first day here at Underground, like I was just like, yeah, like I can see where he's coming from, like how he was good, but like. Like I just didn't see it, but he's improved so, so much. So fast. Oh my so gosh. Much. He, yes. Like you, you, you can tell like that he was just like so good back in the day, because he's he's just just improving so quick. Like I feel I feel like he's just learning to move faster with Toon Link. Literally like as we're watching this yes. right now. No, his adaptability right now is incredible. Mm -hmm. Though he oh. should have lost to me too. Well. <laughs> but um, we won't talk about that. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Ooh, good power shield. Oh, oh, the dare doesn't kill. Wow, the nair. Toon Link's nair is so OP. It has okay. A, it has a lot of priority. Super strong. Honestly, if if uh, he hits him with a nair here, it could it could possibly kill. Notice how Tizer's having a very hard time. Like I said before, Toon Link's mobility he's he's really hard to lock down. Yeah. And the, what Fox has on this matchup is the pressure and that shine, and he's not being able to use it. This matchup could very well be a little bit in uh, Toon Link's favor. Yeah. I'm not seeing uh, Tizer abuse anything to uh, really make this matchup look like it's in his favor or even even. That nair to nair pressure. Okay, he does oh get a shot. There it is. All right, so Tizer takes his first lead right now. He's doing that fox stuff. Wow! That grab was cute. Oh. The boomerang in this game is ridiculous. It's so helpful because most most people aren't expecting it to come back. Like yes. they're just like, oh, it's gone. It's not coming back. The and auto track on this game is much better than it was in melee. Okay, tight battle. Yep. This uh, this could be the tournament. This could uh, this could be the last tournament match of the night. Oh wow! Oh no! Oh, Echo goes oh for it. Oh my god! Echo went so deep there, but they're both back on stage, both playing neutral game. Oh, great down smash! That boomerang! Oh my god! That back air, like I said, he's it's just so good to zone with. He's just creating a wall. Oh my gosh! This is so hype. Oh wow! He's, he's I thought he was going for the down air. Oh wow! The, and tether. He gets the tether. He tries to get the dash attack kill again. Oh, side steps. To wow, the pressure game right now is incredible. It's crazy because all Tizer needs is an up smash. Dash attack, dash attack, up smash. Wow. 
All right. That was. So Tizer gets one on the board. We'll see what happens. Yep, let's see if Echo can bring it back. Col Culp still intensely watching. He's he's in the zone. <laughs> he's so focused. You don't. You guys don't see it, but Ghoul's actually like really angry right now on the other side of the uh, screen. Super salty. He's very, like, very I salty. Like I should be in this match. He's actually wow. telling them he wants to money max them afterwards. <laughs> oh god. Have we gone here yet? That's what I was wondering. I don't think we have. Well, regardless, it's up to the players. So they can agree upon it, so. Mm -hmm. Wow! That grab. Up air. Echo. Oh, the patience. He just waited to launch that second up air. Oh, the nair. There it is. Yep. That, that's the one thing Echo is doing that uh, that Ghoul really wasn't, is, sit, is uh, getting on that ledge and just hogging. I, I feel like if he did that, he actually could have pulled out the win. But, you know, that's in the past now. It is, yeah. So. Oh. Wow, that up B. The hitbox is so strong. And then you can use the a follow-up on that tech was good. Yes. Oh, wow. Kaiser is being controlled on every angle right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, he gets that sound back here. Oh. There we go. See, he's starting to get that shine game right now. Yeah. Strong read right there with that shine. Oh. Tries to get the double shine. Oh. Uses the nair against the stage. It's a lot harder to tech in this game than it is in melee. Oh, definitely. Wow, with the reads. One thing you notice that uh, Echo has done really well compared to the rest of us that have played Tizer so far tonight is uh, he's made strong reads and he's been right on them. Yeah. A yep. lot. And his stage control, oh, Echo oh, makes an unfortunate SD. Yeah. He's still in the lead right now, I mean. I feel like the thing that's allowing him to make those reads is probably the fact of like the rivalry wow. between these two, but that was... Tizer figured out Fox. He figured out Shine is the best move in the game. Tizer's getting some confidence under him now. Oh, get on the left. Okay. Okay. That was Last stock. Yep. Both players pretty even. Toon Link can, ra can rack up damage pretty fast, but then again, this is Fox we're talking about. Tizer staying very still. He's being patient right now. Yep. Which I think is what he needs to be against this really on point echo. Wow. Oh my god. Very good uh, spacing on that up B. Yeah. Mmm. Alright. Alright, Echo. Echo with some stage oh, control right he now. Got, he got that up tilt. He got the up tilt out before Fox's up smash got out. That was. Oh. Oh, good back air. Echo wants to put an end to this. But. All right, Tizer with the up air. It's two two right now. Do you think we're gonna see a? We might see a reset. I mean, Tizer's seems like he's slowly but surely adapting. But um, wow. And we're going to stadium. I'm not man. sure why we took uh, we went back to Tizer's counter pick, but um, we did. I think the only thing that gives uh, Foxy advantage on this stage is is the fact that the up smash at 70% and you're dead. Yes. But other than that, I don't see like much of a, like an advantage from Fox. I feel like the combos that we were seeing earlier that uh, Echo was doing, he's not getting off at the moment. Mm. Tizer's so starting to learn like how he should be uh, DIing and placing himself. Yeah. Okay. Got an edge guard opportunity. Tizer misses the ledge right there. Great trade. Mm, Ties are missing that up, up air. Ooh, good back air. And Echo. Echo missing that SD attempt to uh, equalize the match. Yep. Oh, oh, Ties are just barely missing. Okay. 
Oh. Echo with his mind games right now. Tizer's not getting the chance to play really reactionary. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. What a follow up. 118. Yeah. percent All right. He's got two bombs on the, uh, the platforms at the moment. Oh. One thing, one thing that Tizer was like, or not Tizer, that uh, Echo was messing around with uh, the last time we played this week, he, he he can drop the bomb onto the platform and then hit it with his Zare and push it off. Really? Yeah. So like you can move you can move the bombs with the Zare, and it doesn't blow them up. No explosion at all. No explosion. Like it just pushes them. Wow. It it's like I don't know hike. Like how effective it would be in real gameplay. Wow, he did not die from that up air at the uh, hundred percent. That's that DI. But the Zare, anyways, it uh, it doesn't blow up a bomb, huh? No. Wow. Oh. Wow. Echo's oh. starting to learn some up throw combos. That's good. Yeah. Oh, the boomerang. There it is. That Nair is so intimidating with Young Link or mm -hmm. Toon Link. It has so much priority behind it, and it comes out on such an early frame on such good priority. Yep. Does he try the downer? Oh, oh wow! But he gets he gets the wrong he gets the wrong hitbox on that. That back air almost killed. He is at 165 percent. Watch out for that bomb! Boom! Oh my God, Tizer is just not dying. He just Echo needs to hit him with a solid move. Nair would probably kill at this point. Oh, definitely. He he just needs to jump up and throw it out. Even an up air. Echo is very hungry to get this kill. There it is. Wow. Okay. Got the right hitbox. That's the hitbox he was. All really right, Tizer's down for. to his last stock. Oh. He threw that bomb just in time. Yeah. Kaiser would have probably gone out. Anyways, he gets the up air anyways. All right. We're super even here. This could very well be the reset, or it could be the end of the tournament right now. Yep. Oh, using the boomerang. Good start. Wow. Oh. It builds up a 38% immediately. Good fair. Oh, oh I believe one. Echo was trying to just do a grounded one. Yeah. Those grabs are too good with Fox. He misses the up air. Oh. Kaiser in control. Echo's in kill percent now. Oh my goodness oh, gracious! The ledge guard, what a good follow up. Echo, and congratulations, oh, to Echo. Oh, very, definitely. very good play. Definitely today. on point. He, he, he did really he, solid. He today. improved so much today. Yes, it was <laughs> so intense. Man, there was there was some. Really I'm just I'm just glad that Echo won after our tournament set where you know. Yeah, yeah, good win, dude. He played really well. That good, good dude, games. Your 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 tune link improved just from like so fast. It just improved so fast today. And you're moving so fast with him. It's ridiculous. Oh. Uh. Signing off? Okay. All, All right. right. We're signing off. We're not going to do a crew battle, guys. Uh, yep. Take care. Have a good night. And uh, this has been Smash stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to be uh, having an actual tournament, and uh, people are going to be playing their hearts out. So yep. stay tuned. All, All right. right. Signing out. See you guys. Later, dudes.